Hello everyone, welcome to a new video here on Let's Walk Around Stockholm. Another day, another walk, you know it. And today we are at Östermalm at Karlaplan station. It is Monday morning. Quarter to nine in the morning. And yeah, let's first make our way out here of the subway station and explore the area. I think the temperature is around minus three degrees, so it's a little bit colder today. Quite busy today. Well, it's like rush hour, everyone's going to work. Alrighty, let's go out. Um, well, let's go this way. I'm not so familiar with this area, so let's see where we end up. A bit chilly so let's put my gloves on here all right all done yes so we're outside here of the Kaolaplan metro station which is named after the big roundabout or whatever you want to call it here let's check it out so today is officially the end of the Christmas lights um, the last day of January is where they take everything down like most of it is already taken down but some Christmas trees are still here but today should be the last day so it's almost time to talk about spring. <laughs> Not really, because it's still like two months to go, but... I can clearly tell already in the weather that it's, um, you know, getting lighter and... Change is coming. All right, let's go this way. This area is a very um, upper-class area. 
It's very expensive to live here. It's some really beautiful buildings. So let's check some of them out. Like for example, this one in front of us. Very nice. It's a bit windy today, sorry for that. By the way, some people are getting a little confused on my videos. They're commenting things such as you say good morning, but it's 1 p.m. What's happening? Well, a premiere is not really the same as a live video. So it's not really the same thing. So what I usually do is I record it in the morning, right, like right now. It's 9 o'clock in the morning on a Monday, but the video goes in premiere at 1 p.m. So on the same day. So it's not really live, it's more like semi-live. Lutzengatan. But that's just because people confuse the word live and premiere. It's not the same thing. Premiere just means you show it for the first time. And live is actually not recorded, but that I'm walking um, at that moment. So it's a slightly different thing. But what I usually do is I'm live in the chat, so I can answer your questions over there. So it feels kind of like live. So that's where the confusion sometimes is. I see some really nice buildings here. Again, all in those slightly different colors. The typical Stockholm style, which I love. I think I might do two videos today, not sure yet. Depends on my energy level. It feels like it's coming back, so really nice. Quite funny, this street is called Tustagata, which basically means quiet street. Well, let's check it out then. Oh, how lovely does this look! Oh, check this out. Beautiful street, really. So nice, as you can see, we've had a little bit of snow over the night here. And the dog is going crazy here in Quiet Street. Come on, doggies, listen up. Wow, look at this high door. I mean, this is, this is already a massive door. Even this is already a big door. And then the bigger. That's like the highest door I've ever seen. It's like higher than floor two, that's crazy. Same with this one, very high door. Here, that's a normal size door, down there. Yeah, this is really the posh side of town, you can tell. <laughs> yeah, it's very beautiful here. That's been a while I've been here. I did one walk in this area, but it's many months ago. It was probably still when my walks are silent. And I don't think I walked in this street either, so. Like some of these buildings almost have like a royal feeling to it.
already. So now we are at the famous Karla Vägen. And I kind of see the sun coming through there behind the clouds at the back. <coughs> oh yeah, it's much colder today. <sighs> The Guta brought the mittens. So thanks for the feedback on yesterday's video in the Nordic Museum. Um, yeah, that was really fun. Um, it seemed like you guys uh, enjoyed having that I had a guest as well. So thank you, Sarah, for joining me yesterday. It was really fun. And um, yeah, maybe uh, she will come back for another time at, at some point. <clears throat> Alrighty, let's walk this way. Let's go a bit random this walk. Let's go left and right, left and right. Now we are at Barniergatan. And probably in English you people would say something like Banner Gatan <laughs> or something like that. Or Gatan. Banner Gatan. Banner Gatan. You know in Swedish you always have to say it like you're overreacting. Like a bit of drama into it. They they love to emphasize, you know, the words. Um so yeah, it's a bit hard to explain, but you know what I mean, it's almost like singing. Oh, that was a nice bakery, it smelled like cinnamon. Oh, that's what I love when you pass a bakery. Or a conditori, as we say here. Um, yeah, the good smells. Always there. Oh, I'm really cold today. <laughs> it's funny because when it was minus 10, minus 12, even minus 14, like one or two months ago, um, I was kind of used to it, but it's more of a mental thing. You have to mentally prepare. And now in the last weeks, it's been relatively warm, like yesterday or the day before, it was like plus seven degrees. Um, and then suddenly when it gets minus three, I don't know, it's some, somehow hard to cope with. It's, um, yeah, it's like a mental thing. All right, what do we have there? Is that a school? I think so. There's a lot of cool buildings here in Ostermalm, so it's hard to keep up with all the the different things you know yeah a lot of those buildings have a lot of cool details yeah like this for example i don't know what it means salva but A little park here. Check it out on Barnier Gotham still. It's weird because the more I walk, the more walks I do, the faster the time seems to go. Like now it just feels like I just recently came out of the metro station. But we're already like 15, 16 minutes into the walk. It's really weird how that works. 
And it also seems that you guys prefer longer videos. Maybe you can let me know here in the comments. What would your ideal video length be? Is it 15 minutes? Is it 20? Is it 30 minutes? Is it 40 minutes? Even longer? Let me know. Because for me, it's all possible within reasons, of course. I'm not going to do walks more than an hour, for sure or not. Because then it starts to look like a uh, full-time job, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Oh, this is quite interesting to mention. So, when you order something online, you can choose to deliver the package here. So instead of having it delivered at your home, you go to the app and you can pick up your package here. So it's very handy, maybe if this is on the way to your work or back or whatever. Yeah. And also these ones, these boxes, you know, you have more space in it than your standard mailbox. So sometimes when it doesn't fit in your mailbox, they go to the nearest post office or the supermarket or whatever, when they have one of those pickup points. But yeah, this can be handy too. You don't see it so often, but um, yeah, you see them here and there. So this is the historical museum. Mm -hmm. And I've never been here before, historical museum. No, never. I like the light here. It's reflecting. Uh, maybe I'll do that one next time with the guest. I somehow have to figure out a solution with two microphones at some point, but yeah, you know, that all costs money. Because yesterday, Sarah, you could hear her a little bit less than me, um, which is fine in the museum, because it's inside, but when you're walking outside on the bridge and it's windy and stuff, then I need a more professional solution for the audio. But you know, everything takes time, it doesn't matter. In the future, everything will be upgraded. But there's no rush. Goal number one, 365 days of walking. And speaking of one year of walking, I made a decision yesterday, which is that at 365 days of walking, I'm gonna do my first ever giveaway. Yes. Um, I haven't decided how you can win yet but i'm probably gonna give away a t-shirt or something a let's walk around stockholm t-shirt or a stockholm t-shirt or something funny to got to do with stockholm i will figure it out in the next weeks but stay tuned because you can win something on my channel just for fun and um yeah so let's see what's gonna happen So if you guys got any cool suggestions on how to do like a little competition or something like that, or let me know. It should be just a fun thing for my regular viewers, you know. That's the, the yard of the museum here. I don't know what it is with me today, but I'm freezing. I never complain about the weather normally, but today I'm like... Ugh. Maybe no coffee today, but hot chocolate. I'm gonna make some hot chocolate at home. Let's cross the street. There's so many expensive cars here on us tomorrow, it's crazy. Some classic Volvos too. Classic family car.
Yeah, last time I was here in Carla Plan, a little flashback was um, not even that long ago, but I went to a magic show. There's a Swedish guy and his name is Tobe Trollkar, which basically, well, let's make that the word of the day. Okay, spontaneous, word of the day, Trollkarl. So Trollali or Trolla is basically like magic and a call is like um, a different way for a guy or a dude or something like that. So it's a, a magic guy, troll car. But, but troll la is, is like, has basically like two different meanings. It's like, well, the thing is, I'm, I'm translating this to Dutch because in Dutch you have two different words or two different ways of doing magic. You have the magic such as something is very magical, as in like a movie or something. Then you could say like magie or something like that. But you can also say trollerie, which is more like a magician in English, but it's like goochelen in Dutch. So I'm a little confused with the words, but anyway. Um, yeah, so troll card is like a magician. Just to give you an example between the two different things, like uh, like a magician for me it would be more someone that does it like a wizard or something like that. But if you do a card trick, it's also magic, but it's obviously not real magic; it's just a trick. So th that's the difference I'm trying to explain. Sorry if I'm confusing you people. I was kind of confusing myself there with three different languages in my head, so. If you have no idea what's going on, just forget everything I said in the last three minutes. It's basically my Dutch brain talking to my Swedish brain, trying to translate it into English. Story of my life. So yeah. Hey. That together with the brain freeze doesn't give great results. <laughs> So, which street are we on? We are at... What's this called? Commandersgatan. Commandersgatan. Yes. Oh, nice, a bicycle store. Like mountain biking and things like that. Cool. Right away. Great name for a bicycle shop. Let's cross the street here. It's a great building. Yeah, sometimes people ask me which language I think in. Um, and to be honest, I'm not really sure. It depends on the situation, I guess. If it's work, then it's maybe English. And at home, it's like... I'm not really sure, to be honest, if it's Dutch or Swedish. But yeah. Some people always wonder if I speak Swedish. Yeah, I do. I think my Swedish is maybe a little bit better than my English. I'm not sure. I mean, I did learn English way before I did Swedish, but because I live here, it's, uh, you know, it is the daily, the daily language. The funniest thing I've ever done is send I had one year when I was living in Australia and at some point I was writing emails to my mom in English and she replied to me, she was like, yeah, great, but um, why are you writing to me in English? I was like, I don't know, I'm confused.
I actually know a few situations and I think that's quite tragic as to when you have people um, how shall I explain this so so when I grew up right in the Netherlands I knew a few people that were their parents were born born in for example Turkey and the children were born in the Netherlands and you had the weird situation where the parents did not speak good Dutch but the children didn't speak good Turkish because they were born in the Netherlands which means that the parents actually had a problem having a great conversation more in-depth with their own children so by the time the children got like teenagers I mean they could speak with their parents but only at a certain level which is so weird because they grew up together in the same house and I've really had situations where I saw they had problems communicating with their own parents I hope I never get that with my kids I hope you become fluent in all the languages that's the dream but let's see how it goes Jungfru Gautam let's go in here Base Stockholm Dance Academy. Nice. Really not a dancer myself. I don't really enjoy dancing, but actually I like to watch break dance. I think break dance is pretty cool. But otherwise no. I don't like to dance at nightclubs or whatever or even dance at home or <laughs> in the shower or no just don't like dancing really also those tv programs like dancing with the stars and dance audition this and that no nah, really not my cup of tea alrighty so we're back at the main street here let's kind of make my way back to the um, station That's if I haven't got lost yet. No, I don't think so. That's a good thing, you know. I always try to remember the main road, like for example here, Carla Wegen. So you know where you are. Actually, let's go into the middle and enjoy those big nice trees here well they look much better in summer but still decent still decent now love those mature trees i wonder how old they are oh in the summer this is all like covered in green you know it's almost like a close off at the top really nice Try to miss the children on camera. Get a bit of a Rome feeling with this one. But this is the gymnasium over there. Oh, let's say something called away again. Oh, it's about us, the mom. It used to be called La de Gortsland, that Byland. Cows were driven in the spring. <laughs> Imagine cows still running around here in the old days. Well, if you go far enough back, you know, Stockholm was only the old town, and everything around it was probably like countryside ish. It's all a matter of going far back. 
in time. Alrighty, so I'm not really decided yet if I'm gonna go back straight home, if I'm gonna... wait... Um, or if I'm gonna record another video or whatever, yeah. Maybe have a fika, some coffee, who knows? Yeah, let's do it. Let's have, uh, let's stay here and have some fika. Oh, is YouTube gonna block me now for nudity? <laughs> I actually read about someone that had a picture of a nude. A uh, woman on Instagram and the photo got blocked for like nudity. That was really weird. There was a statue. Yeah, this is perfect for running. This, uh, wide avenue here. I think that's the word. Is this an avenue? Can you call it like that? Alrighty. Yeah, I made it. I didn't get lost. I'm back at Carleplan here. Like in the beginning when I started my channel, I sometimes did 10 minute videos. I think I even have a seven minute video somewhere on my channel. Thinking back, I'm like, what, what did I do in, in that time? Like, you can do anything in 10 minutes. Well, yeah, let's have a little view here on the Roundabout, which must be like the biggest roundabout of Stockholm, I would say. I don't know, I have to look that up, but it's massive. Alrighty. Seems like I say alrighty too much. So, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all tomorrow in a new video.